Hello, this is Angela with Progress Permaculture. I'm gonna do a quick bonus video here. So in the background of my last video, you can see this giant cage here. This is actually the shark cage that I used last summer to start my brassicas in a safe environment that could not be accessed by cabbage lope or butterflies. We are repurposing it right now. It is still gonna be a shark cage later, but we are repurposing it. It's made of old window screens. And we have added some pallet material here. Oh, my dogs are gonna bark. We have added some pallet material here and just some old fencing I had in the shed. And we've made a little tiny tractor for our baby birds. So I think this is really important for them to get outside time every day where they are safe in an urban environment from coyotes and dogs and birds of prey and cats. They are all still little enough that they could be a tasty little snack for anything like that. So this gives them a safe and enclosed area where they can learn how to forage. They love being outside. So we are underneath a quince tree and we have this chosen this area because it gets morning sun and shade both. So they can choose whether they want to sunbathe or whether they want to stay in full shade. So I thought I would make this video quickly, not just to show off my turkeys and ducklings and chicks, which I always want to do, but also to talk about in permaculture how we want to stack functions. My poodles really want to come outside. So in permaculture, we talk about stacking functions. We don't like to have a gadget that just does one thing. My mom always talked about how in the kitchen she made sure that she didn't buy a one-off gadget that just did one job because there wasn't room in the kitchen cupboards for that. It's the same way in our quarter acre permaculture garden. We need everything to do multiple jobs. So I really love the fact that I can reuse this screen window set that we turned into a shark cage and I could give it another life as a little tiny baby birdie tractor. And then when we're done, we can take apart the scraps that were in our uh, shed, put them back in the shed, maybe use them in a future year. And this goes back to its original purpose. I think it's important when we are designing that we have multi-purpose objects in our permaculture that increases our efficiency, reduces the number of resources. I could have built a whole new pen for them out of uh, new lumber, new resources, new screws, but instead I chose to use what I have and I chose to keep it simple. It may not be as beautiful as something that was built from all new materials, but it's highly effective. It was low effort to just tack uh, with a couple of screws, some bits of pallet around the out outside of one edge and to create a perfectly serviceable area for them. Think about when you are working on your design, whatever it's for, how can I get multiple uses out of one thing? How can I stack functions? How can I make something become a jack of all trades or at least get two roles for everything in my garden and everything in my system that will reduce your workload, it will increase your efficiency and it will reduce the amount of new resources that you have to use. If you can take something and repurpose it in a way that allows you to return it to its original design if you need it, that is optimal. But in general, if you can repurpose something at all, that's better than taking new resources. Repurpose it for as multiple roles as you can. Again, these were screens in somebody's house that I got at the rebuilding center. They now have a new life, not only for starting my brassicas safely, but also for running my baby birds safely. Thanks for watching this bonus video today. I will be back with more from my permaculture garden tomorrow. Please check out my Patreon down below. Thanks. So here you can see this is the front door of the shark cage. We just propped it open to give them double the area. Use some spare green netting and some bits of wood, a couple of screws, and they now have an area they can run in and be enclosed, get some outside time, learn to forage.